Arthur Putnam is a famous and successful novelist, a writer of best-selling murder mysteries. Julia, his wife, is immersed in reading his latest work. After 20 years of marriage, they're accustomed to each other's little idiosyncrasies. But could there be something odd in this picture of domestic tranquility? Oh, Arthur, if you're trying to get my attention, you've succeeded. An Act of the Imagination is the latest offering from main stage Irving Las Colinas, and it's the perfect thing for shaking off the winter cobwebs. Sergeant Bircher told me there had been one or two robberies in the area lately. Well, please put it away, darling. It makes me very nervous. Oh, quite. It needs cleaning, but I could do that later. Well, have you finished it? Um, I play Arthur Putnam. He's kind of a stodgy British mystery writer. Um, old style, uh, very traditional type of a guy. He is a very famous and successful mystery writer and he's written a new book that's a, quite a departure from his other work in that it's a love story. And it's, it sort of starts to come alive. <laughs> My other concern is with the young woman. Does she seem believable? Perfectly. Specific, idiosyncratic, fully dimensional. It's uncanny the way she comes off the pages. His imagination that he pours into both his mystery stories and this new genre that he's working in, um, the imagination then starts to pop. And, and the characters start to pop right out of the novel and into the Putnam's living room. Well, let's see. I suppose there's only one way of saying this, so here goes. I've been having, well, I suppose you would call it, an affair with your husband. Does anyone have a line? What? What are you talking about? I take it he didn't tell you about me. No, and no, the plot, no, as they say, thickens. There are so many twists and turns to the plot, and each time you think you have it figured out, a new character comes on the scene, and you go, oh, wait a minute. Things start off with, with, a, with, with a bang, and at each moment you start to think something may be happening, and it just starts building and building. She's insane! This is just another one of our horrible games. No, not a game. We have every reason to believe the girl is dead. An Act of the Imagination features an excellent cast, including familiar faces from last year's hit show, The Cover of Life. And I think actually it's a, it's a mini reunion for some of the ladies in who were in Cover of Life. Two of the girls in the show, I was also working with them in the Cover of Life. Because we've got Karen and Caitlin and, and Lucia as well. So they're all bonded, which really helps. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't need to force them together. <laughs> Fans of the hit show Mad Men will love the era. It's set in the uh, 1960s. So some of our audience may recognize some of the costuming. I mean, I'm looking at it going, hmm, did I wear that really? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but the cast agrees you'll have the most fun trying to figure out who done it. An act of the imagination will will certainly make you think. You've, you're there, it's a mystery story, it's a thriller as well, so you are there, you have to look for the clues. And as the story unfolds, um, many things happen that I can't give away because it is a very suspenseful story. I, I'm expecting that people will be talking in the intermission about, oh, I wonder what's happening, <laughs> I wonder what's happening, and, and um, what's going to happen next? You never know, and just when you feel like you're relaxed and knowing where things are going, we're going to change it on you again. <laughs> I don't find you boring, Arthur. No? No, eccentric. Well, I suppose that's better than nothing. It has its own charm, although I do think you lay it on a bit thick sometimes. Allows you to get away with murder. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting. <laughs>